Welcome to Create, Cook, and Talk. I'm Shantae. I'm Kaylee. And what are we cooking today, Kaylee? Crab salad. Cobb salad on a stick. Yeah. And who sent us this recipe? Samantha J. <laughs> Elizabeth J. And um, she sent us in a recipe for kitty cob salad. And I thought, uh, let's put a little twist on it because everything tastes better when it's on a stick. And also, if you have it on a stick, then it can be transported um, during the summer when you're going on picnics because we all need a little fun during this uh, COVID-19 right now and this summer of all unusual things that are happening. So, um, I know what, let's talk about something. Let's talk about sun. Since yes. people might be going out in the sun this summer, right? Yeah. What did you learn recently from the sun? I learned that I got sunburned when I was in the sun. For two. For too long. Yeah, you went during the peak hours, right? The peak hours of sun are 10 to 4, right? And you went during that time with what? No? With no sunscreen on. Yes, because you didn't want to put any on, right? Mm hmm And what happened to your poor skin? Got burned. And then what happened when you got burned? It, what happens to it? Hurt. It hurts? And, and my mom put some maybe aloe. aloe on and some Vine vinegar on my arm. Oh, uh, vinegar, uh, vinegar and water to get the heat out of it because you were in such bad shape. Um, so that is a tip in case you guys just didn't know that. Vinegar and water compresses, um, takes the heat out of a sunburn. You smelled like a salad, right? So that's kind of like what we're cooking today, huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're gonna be like yeah. a salad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it did take away the burn and the sting. And what did we learn? From now on, we put on sunscreen on before you leave. Before you leave, it takes a half hour for sunscreen. Or. Right, and it takes a half hour for sunscreen to absorb into your skin. Yes. Right, and it doesn't stay on just because you're what, swimming? Swimming. You're sweating. Yeah. You have to what, re we apply it. Apply it. Yeah, reapply or, it. Or like a sunscreen shirt oh. I got. I had to we need to wear it for tomorrow when I go swimming. That's right. A sunscreen, a sun protective garment. And and that is an excellent idea. Plus a hat or um, and sunglasses. sunglasses to protect your eyes, right? Very good. Okay, so let's get back to what we're cooking today. What are we cooking? Uh, uh, cob salad, salad on a stick. stick. We have cheese. Let's go over the ingredients. Yep, we have uh, Munster cheese because it's more cheese. mild. And we have ham, turkey. Turkey. One second. Turkey. Turkey. Um, cut in cubes. But tomato. Tomatoes. And lettuce. Lettuce. And we, if you, your child doesn't like or your parent doesn't like tomatoes, you could always swap it out for grapes. We thought that would be fun. Eggs. A eggs and guacamole. guacamole. You can put guacamole pieces on there. We just figured this would be easier. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna help make some little sandwiches because I figured this is a way, good way to get the guacamole on there. So put a little bit there, right Kay? And then you're gonna marry it. Yes. Okay. So. Let me move this over here and I'm going to do that and you can start putting it on a stick, right? Well, yep, good job. Oh, I'm getting myself. Not too hard, guys. Not too hard. Oh. And what goes next? Oh, we got to push it all the way down to where? Down here. Okay, and, and what goes on next? We need uh, where's, oh, I forgot, I made a little uh, display for Kaylee so she could have like a, um, a guide so that it goes cheese first, then a little bit of guacamole, then the um, turkey, and then um, the lettuce, and then a tomato, and then repeat, okay? So it's an easy step-by-step -step for her to do. So I'm gonna put that down so she can follow it. We need lettuce. We need the lettuce, right? We need... Okay, now where's the tomato? Tomato, like a football. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the center. I told her to look at the shape of like a t uh, football. Go ahead. Right in there. Oh, I can't do it. Go on. On there. And then what comes next? Here's, now we're up to our next part, another right? Another cheese. Right, so put it on with the cheese because it'll be easier to slide on. There you go. Got it. And Kaylee's learned when you're doing skewers to go in the center, right? Yes. 
Okay, so now lettuce. Now when we do the now lettuce, lettuce, let's do it where we roll it up a little bit. So what did I see how I just did that with my finger, you guys? I just kind of rolled it up and then we can put it right on there, right? Mm -hmm. And now what goes on top? Another tomato. Another tomato and hold it so that it's like a football shape and then you need help. You could always put it down and stab it too if you needed it. And we need some. Now we're up to our um, our our third piece of ham. Yes, so, ham. I mean cheese. not turkey. I'm sorry, not. It. Go ahead. Now what goes on there? A tomato. Uh, lettuce. Tom lettuce. No lettuce. tomato. I think we're at the end. We're almost at the yeah, end. Yeah, tomatoes. Another football. Yeah, you got it. Why don't you put it down here if that's easier? Here, I'll hold it. Let's get a bigger one and then go like that. Okay, and now what goes on? An egg. And then put that right in the center. Ta-da! Voila! And then we're gonna be able to eat it with... With, with a dip. With blue, blue cheese. Blue cheese dressing. Okay. Salad on a stick that the kids will enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy our twist. Um, we think it will be easy for packing if you wanted to wrap it in tin foil and take it to the beach, put your salad dressing in a Tupperware, and away you go. And the nice thing is, is the kids will eat it. Um, if they don't like tomatoes or something, swap it out. We hope you enjoy this um, recipe. Thank you, Lapis J, for sending this recipe for us. If if you have another recipe for next time, give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Send us a comment. Send it on a comment for next time. Yeah. We thank, we thank you. So I want to say thank you to Elizabeth J as well. Thank you for sending in us this recipe. We appreciate it. Um, next week, tune in because we're going to be cooking from... Uh, Jeannie Sturkin, her family sent us in a recipe, so we're, um, it'll be fun. We're going to a dessert next week, so tune in. And, and uh, create, cook, cook and, and talk. Encourage learning while creating yum. I'll talk to you soon.